Hi guys, so this is going to be episode 2 of my Entrepreneur Life series. In this episode, I'm going to show you guys how to do the basics of your website. I'm just going to go through my website and show you guys how I added the things that I added to my website. And this is going to be a part 1 because I'm going to allow you guys to comment and let me know what other things you need help with. And if I know how to do it, then I'll make a part 2 and add those things into it. So I just wanted to make this video for anyone who is creating a website through Wix. I use Wix. I've used Shopify in the past, but I don't know. I don't think I like Shopify as much as Wix. I think Wix is a pretty decent platform to make a website on. And please forgive me. My computer is real slow. I have to get a new computer. But, yes, yeah, is what I mean. Um... So I do have to get a new computer. I wonder if it's because my Wi-Fi is broken. So yeah. So while my Wi-Fi comes back on, I am gonna do a video explaining my business in like the next episode or the one after that. But I'm gonna let you guys know a little bit about my business. I actually have two businesses. My first business is a hair extension, wig extension line, and that is Hair by Zai Collection. And then I just started my second business, which is going to be my clothing, accessories, and my fashion, I want to say business. That's going to be all fashion stuff, accessories, and that's called Zai's Collection. And the website that I have it under is Hair by Zai Collection, and I just put my clothing on the hair site at the moment because I just started my clothing site so I didn't want to make a whole new website and go through all that and I just am starting and I'll show you guys what I mean by that all right so I finally got it to start loading so um also if you're watching this please head over to my website the link is in the description I am having a huge sale on June 12 2020 at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time if you go to the link in the description it's right where it says we have a Facebook event for our sale. You'll see um, more information on the sale, but it's going to be a 50% off sale. And this is probably going to be one of my only sales of the year besides Black Friday. Um, So if you are interested in custom wigs or bundle deals, baby bonnets, edge ties, I'm going to have everything on sale for that day. And then also the clothing will also be on the website. Everything is able to be purchased on that day but that's gonna be my biggest sale of the year so now i'm going to go through the wix dashboard and i'm going to show you guys how to navigate the site through the dashboard and then i'll make another episode and i'll show you guys how to actually edit your site so this is going to be the part one i'm going to make another one that's going to be part two of editing your site so for this, I mean, for this video, I'm just gonna go through the Wix dashboard. So this screen right here is the dashboard. If you have multiple sites, you will go to my sites and then you would click create a new site if you had a new site, but I only have one site at the moment. So I would just go to my one site. And then it's going to take you to the dashboard and up here you have where you can <clears throat> ask for help, type in what you need help with. And then, um, that's where you can find answers to that right here is your inbox. This is where all your messages go when you're on the desktop right here is all your notifications who's subscribing. So all these are like people who subscribe to my mailing list. And then right here, it shows new releases on the website. And then right here is your profile where it has your account settings, your um, payment methods and stuff like that. And then right here is the dashboard. Um, right here is the dashboard. So you have right here, you could click site actions. This will show you which you can edit your site, view your site live, rename your site, duplicate your site, transfer your site, add contributor, move to trash, create a new website. So right here is where you would make your domain where it says domain connected. I have bought a domain for my website. So a domain is the website name. You know, some people have like 
So say like barbiegirl.wix.com or .shopify.com. Buying your own domain makes your website yours so you don't have to have the .wix at the end. And then you got your plan, your mailbox, your plan, your analytics, and that's the dashboard. And then usually video library does not come on your usually video library doesn't come on this screen right here but i have an app for that so i'll show you guys that tomorrow when i show you guys the site and how to edit the site but right here the next thing would be store products so it's going to take you to your products page and these are all my products so when you're adding a new product you want to go to new product right here Right here in this section is where you're going to add a new product. And then you can either choose a digital file. I, I, okay, so I tried to upload something that was a digital file, but they only accept small sizes of like files. So if you have a bigger file, I'm gonna show you tomorrow how to get around that. So then you can add a physical prop, a physical product which is what most likely everyone would be adding and it's going to take you to this page you would fill out the title add your pictures and your images collections you would click the collections that you want this to be a part of so say i'm about to add a wig i would add it to one of these bob wigs closure wigs 613 wigs i would click which collection i want to add it to and then when i show you guys tomorrow on editing your site you'll see why you want to make collections it will just make it a lot more organized so then right here you have your product name you can add like new arrival top seller best seller you can add a ribbon right here if you hear something in the background is my cats and they won't stop so i'm sorry right here it would be a price you could add it on sale and if you want to do on sale you just put the discount that you want to add and you will have your description right here and then you can add a uh, policies right here where it says add an info section. Tomorrow I'll show you guys where that shows up on your site, but right here is where you can add a policy or care instructions. Um, and then after that, you can do a custom text field. A custom text field is when your customer could type in options. So like on my site, I have, um, how would you like your wake styled? And then you add the custom text file and they could fill out what they would want. And then for product options right here, you can add, like it says, you can add a size, color, material, and you can add options. So say you wanna put color, and then you can put your options right here. So you have the options of doing it in color, or you can make it as a list, and it'll just be listed out, or this has the actual color with it. So then, right here, you can check your inventory. This is what I'm doing, especially for my clothes, because I want my clothes to be um, ready to ship. So I want to know that I have everything in stock if someone is purchasing, unless I know that it is a pre-order, um, pre-order order. Of course, people want to be loud outside. So right here, you can put in stock, out of stock, or right here. You can add track inventory and then you can put how many that you have in inventory. So that's how you add a new product to your website. And then these are all my products right now. You can hide a product by clicking this little eye thing. It's like an eye with a dash in it that hides the product, but you would just click it right here and then put set visibility. And then you can set it to either visible or hidden. Or you can click that and add it to a collection and I have my collections right here. So then you can go to the collections that are under the word products over here. And then these are all your collections. So like I have 613 wigs, bob wigs, classes, closure wigs, clothing. So right here is where you can make collections and then separate everything. So say you have um, pages on your website that are under wigs. I can make the page wigs and then add the collection 613 wig. So I don't have to go between each product and add it to the site. I don't know if that really makes sense, but tomorrow I'll show you guys how to do that. So you go back to the main menu. Your next thing is gonna be store orders. 
And right here, you're gonna see all your orders. Um, when you see your orders, it's gonna show the order number, the date and time they ordered it, their customer, if they paid it and went through, and your fulfillment. Your fulfillment is if you fulfilled the order. So these two top orders I fulfilled already, and they were ebooks, so they were sent out automatically. But the next two are unfulfilled, and these are clothing, and this are what I have to send out and fulfill. So that's what that shows you. And then abandoned carts. Abandoned carts just show you who put items in their cart and then didn't pay for it. So then it sends out email to, to remind them about their order that they put. So that's what that is. And you go back to the main menu. Who wants to go? And then right here, I just have extra stuff because I have the um, app and I added extra apps to the app. I don't use those, so I'm just going to skip that. And then next up, you will have customer management. Yeah, those are my kittens. So, this is not going to work out. I don't know why they're doing that. So now right here, when you go to customer management, you're gonna bring you to the inbox that I showed you guys in the way beginning. But this is just all the people who inbox you or chat on your website. And then you have your contact list. You have your contact list with all your contacts and it tells you how many orders they um have bought from you and it tells you the last time an email was sent out to them and then you have your form submissions and this is from your website these are the forms people fill out so these are how people become email subscribe to my email or this is how people create a custom quote to get a custom quote for a wig that is on my website and i'll show you guys that how to do that tomorrow and you guys have these products that help you manage help you build your business this right here is automation this sends out emails without you having to do it manually so for example this is a send thank you email when this email is sent it's going to send a thank you email once someone fills out a form from your website so that's what this does and you have to have the advanced plan to get a certain number but the basic plan i think comes like three or five but you will want more as your business grows and then you have workflows, that's something similar. Then you have tasks and reminders you could set up. And then you have site members. But I don't have any of those, so I'm not going to go through that. All right, so next up you have marketing and CEO. This is just where you're going to do all the Google stuff, all the marketing, Facebook and Instagram ads. Um, this is where you put your coupons in. You can do your email marketing from here. So you will go to the tab that says email marketing. And then that's how you will create your email. And it will send out to your subscribers on your email list. And that is loading so I can show you guys. So this is where you do your email marketing. And this is how you will go to... One of these templates, you will use use template and you will fill this out. You could change it up and then you will send out your emails. You also have where you can make coupons that you can use, but you guys can't see this one. So we'll go back to the main menu. And then you have your analytics tab, and this just, of course, shows the numbers for your website. Does it straight off your website? You just go through your analytics. You have your finances. We're not going to show that early. Just shows all the things people have paid for. And then you have your settings. These are cats. These are kittens. Don't get kittens. Don't get kittens. Don't get kittens. 
yeah they're proving me right so this is just your settings and then i think that is the end so in here has everything um this is where you would do your shipping your store tax your accepting your payments your business email this is just all your settings so you could just go through that that's all your general information and then the last important thing is your apps that's over here in the dashboard and your apps are what you put on your website and these are all the apps that are on my actual website so right here is where you manage all of those and then for example this is like comments this is the app comments that i put on my website so people leave comments and then they all show right here and I could apply to them all on this one page. But that is going to be the end of this first video. This is just me showing you guys the dashboard of Wix and what everything means. And I'm going to upload another video showing you guys how to edit your site and how to add certain things to your site that I've added to my site that I've figured out. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please leave me comments in the... Wow. Please leave comments in the comment section of things you want to see for this series or questions about this site so I can make another part. And please, if you're watching this, subscribe to the channel. We are on the way to 300 subscribers. And I want to get to 1,000 before the end of the year. So I'm going to be pushing out content. And I'm just really excited to start my YouTube channel. So thank you guys for watching this video. And I'll be back with another one in a few days, I promise.